In the first video in this playlist, we derived the general equation of a circle with center hk and radius r. Basically, we use Pythagoras' theorem to find the relation between x and y, where x, y is any point on the circle. In this video, we're going to expand this out so we can write this in a different form. It's just an expanded form, basically. So we just square this out. We get x squared minus 2hx plus h squared. When we square out this, we get y squared minus 2ky plus k squared. And on the right-hand side, we've r squared. The next thing that we will do is bring the square terms together, then write down the x term, and then the y term. Finally, we write down the numbers h squared, k squared, bring r squared over becomes minus r squared, and we have 0 on the right-hand side. Now, h, k, and r are numbers. They are givens. We're given the center, normally, h, k, and the radius of a circle. And then we usually go and get the equation. So if we put these three numbers together, we get some new number that we will call c. So now, this is the expanded form of the equation of a circle. We have to keep in mind what c is. C is h squared plus k squared minus r squared. You can see in this equation h and k. We can actually get h and k directly from this by looking at the coefficients of x and y. However, the other important piece of information for a circle is the radius of the circle, r. Well, if we know what c is, and if we know what h and k are, then we can find out what r is. So we just rearrange this equation to make r the subject. So we have minus r squared equals c minus h squared minus k squared. Changing signs and getting the square root, we see that r is h squared plus k squared minus c. Let's take an example. We are going to get the fully expanded form for the equation of a circle with center minus 1, 2 and radius 6. So I'll use the original form, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, and plug in these values. So we have x minus h, well, hk is the center. So we have x minus minus 1, or x plus 1 squared, plus y minus k squared, where k is 2, equals r squared, where r is 6, r squared is 36. Now let's expand this out and get it into this form up here. Uh, we get x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals 36. So we get x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 4y. We have 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 minus 36 is minus 31 equals 0. So now we have it in this form up here x squared term, y squared term, x term, y term, constant, equals zero. Now let's consider a new question. Suppose that we are given this equation of a circle, and that we are asked to find the center and the radius. How do we reverse all the steps that we just did? Of course, we know what the answer is. We know that the center of the circle is minus 1, 2, and its radius is 6. Well, we can just refer to the general form of the equation of a circle. So imagine that we are given this equation. We compare to the general form. So we can see that minus 2h is the coefficient of x. So we see that minus 2h equals plus 2 for this particular circle. From this equation, we can solve for h h equals 2 divided by minus 2, which is minus 1. So now we found h, the x value of the center. Now let's look at the y values. Very similar. The coefficient of y in the general form is minus 2k. For this particular circle, minus 2k is minus 4. So we see that k is minus 4 divided by minus 2, which is plus 2. So now we found the center. We found that the center is minus 1 comma 2. Next, how do we get the radius? Well, we use this formula here. 
to get the radius, I'll do it over here. We have to get the square root of h squared plus k squared minus c. h is minus 1. If we square minus 1, we get plus 1. k squared is 2 squared here, which is 4, minus c. Well, c is the term at the end of the equation. For this particular circle, c is minus 31. So our formula is h squared plus k squared minus c. So we have minus minus 31. That's plus 31. So we have the square root of 36, which is 6. So r is equal to 6. So that's how we work backwards when we're given the equation in this form. Let's see that again. Basically, to get the center, we just look at the coefficient of x, half it, and change the sign. Half of plus 2 is plus 1. Change the sign to get minus 1. Then we look at the coefficient of y, half it, and change the sign. Because you see minus 2k is minus 4, so we're dividing by minus 2 basically. So that's the same as halving this and changing the sign to get plus 2. To find out what the radius is, we use this formula here. So you have to memorize this formula, or you can derive it. So we just plug the values we got for h and k into this formula. c is this number here. c is minus 31. Find the center and radius of the circle x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 4y plus 4 equals 0 and show that the circle touches both axes. Okay, so we compare the circle to the general form, which is up here. Basically, minus 2h, the coefficient of x, equals minus 4. So to find h, we have the coefficient of x and change the sign. So the center is going to be 2 for the h value. To get the k value, we have the coefficient of y and change the sign. Half of minus 4 is minus 2. Change the sign, we get plus 2. So that's hk, the center. To get the radius, we use this formula. So the radius is root h squared plus k squared minus c. So h is 2, k is 2, and we have to subtract c, where c is this number here. Okay, if we compare to the general form of our equation, the number at the end is c. So for this example, c is 4. So we have 2 squared is 4, and 4 is 8. 8 minus 4 is, two, is 4, root 4 is 2. So the circle is centered at 2, 2, and its radius is 2. So here is a very rough sketch. The center is 2, 2, the radius is 2. So... You can see if we draw a very rough sketch of this circle, that it will touch both axes. It will touch the y-axis and the x-axis. Because the horizontal distance of the point 2, 2 to the y-axis is 2, which is equal to the radius. And the vertical distance of the point 2, 2 to the x-axis is also 2, which is equal to the radius. So, as a matter of fact, we have two points on this circle. This point here has coordinates 2, 0. And this point here has coordinates 0, 2. So, because these two points are on the circle, they should satisfy the equation of the circle. So, I will just show that for the point 0, 2. So, we plug 0, 2 into this equation. So we replace x with 0 and y with 2. So we have minus 4 times x, which is 0, minus 4 times y, which is 2, plus 4. And all of this should work out to 0, because 0, 2 is on this circle. Okay, so we have 2 squared is 4. This is 0. Uh, this is minus 8, plus 4. So we get... Minus 4 plus 4, which is 0, so it does check out. Similarly for this point, if you like, you can plug this point into the equation, and it should also satisfy it. As a matter of fact, we can get other points in this circle. We can get this point here. We see that the coordinates of this point is 4, 2. Okay, because the radius is 2, so 2 and 2 is 4. The diameter of this circle is 4. The coordinates of this point up here 
or two four. So you can check if you sub any of these four points into the equation of the circle, you will see that they will satisfy it.